I've driven an hour from home. I'm on the Chelmer navigation. I'm on the Chelmer Canal between Malden and Chelmsford. I've driven here today because I've walked this route. This is one of my um, favorite spots. I love uh, running along, walking along the side of canals, water, lakes, rivers. I live on the River Thames, so I'm quite lucky that I've got that as an area that I can run along. But uh, I've driven here today because yeah, this is a route, uh, it's quite picturesque. It's a long, straight, flat as a pancake, canal route, towpath, perfect for running. So I'm gonna give this a go today. I'm quite looking forward to this. So uh, I'm not sure how far I'm gonna go. I've got some water that I'm gonna stash. I'm well hydrated now. I'm dying to go to the toilet, but there isn't anywhere. So I've just got to hope that there's somewhere on route I can stop. But anyway, here is to a really good canal run. The road is long and full of dust The landscape changes around me On and on I feel I must Whatever happened to <laughs> me Happened for my heart I'm moving on and on On and on I got a wet foot Oh, I have to run it off Oh, I might have gone the wrong way. I crossed this bridge for no reason. I'm at a really rural part of the canal now. There's barely a footpath. Which is why I'm getting lost. Is my location sweet as well my destination if you're looking to begin then look no further than within so i've just stopped for a sec i'm just walking this bit uh two reasons it's not that windy here it's incredibly muddy but like really muddy i'm not even sure if i'm going to get through this stretch have a look I mean, obviously I could get through it. It's just, I don't know if I want to because I'm five miles from my car and I don't really want to run back soaking wet feet. I nearly went then. I actually, <laughs> I literally nearly went in the canal. The canal is right there and it is so muddy. We're through that. Um, I thought I'd stop for two seconds just to make a couple of points on camera. A, without being out of breath uh, and B, without being out of breath. So I wanted to try and do 10 miles today. Uh, as I said in my challenge video, I'm trying to work up to run in a hundred mile training week. And I want to get my body used to endurance running because that's what it will be. Um, I'm not looking for pace, but I am looking for fitness, stamina and endurance. I've run a few runs this week. Um, so I've run a 5K, a 10K, uh, and then yesterday I ran uh, another 10K. So I've done quite a few, I've done quite a few good runs this week. Um, and then today, obviously, I'm going to try and do 10 miles. So I'm going to try and see if I can build up to that stamina level that I need for this 100 mile training week. There was a couple of things that I recorded in that video that never actually made it into the video. Oh, the wind's picked up here. I'm gonna go back under these trees. So in that video, um, I recorded that at the beginning of January and I wanted to make a point of marking my paces. And even though my pace doesn't really feature in any of the challenges that I do, 
uh, mainly because I'm not fast, but I do these challenges for the challenge, not for um, you know my blistering speed. But I wanted to mark at the beginning of jam what my pace was at 5k and 10k, because uh, they're good indicators of improvement and how far I've come. So I think I said in the video, I never actually put it in the video, but I recorded it, and I think I said that um, my 5k was 11 and a half minutes a mile. My average pace for a 5k run is now 11 and a half minutes, which isn't fast by any stretch of the imagination, but it's fast for me. And then my 10k was uh, 12 minutes a mile, and my 10k average run time is now 12 minutes flat. I know it's a bit confusing <laughs> to talk about k uh, kilometers and then and then my pace being at mile in in, in a mile uh, measure, but it's just how I've remembered it. So I went out last week and I ran 5k, and when I got home, I checked the app and. I actually ran it in 11 minutes, nine seconds, I think. 11, 11 minutes, nine seconds, 11 minutes. And it was my, it was a personal best. It was the fastest I've ever run. It's personally the best I've ever run. Um, I mean, obviously it's not an official race, but it was, it was, it was a surprise. It was a really, really good surprise. So when I did that, um, I then wanted to try and see if I could get a new PB for my 10K, which again, in my video, I said was 12 minutes. And I went out and I ran an 11.16 time for my 10K. I did that the day after. I was absolutely blown away by that. Considering how little running I had done over December, since the marathon, I had been running, but nowhere, I hadn't been pushing myself. I didn't expect to go forward. I expected to go backwards. So the fact that my pace has significantly improved was a very welcome uh, surprise. I'm gonna get back to running now because I'm really starting to get cold just want to get up to this bridge and then I'm going to turn around and head back and then that will be my 10 miles pressing this is supposed to stop the music but and he works on like the fourth attempt so I'm at five and a half miles I went a little bit further than the bridge only because I was just enjoying running on these uh, really really muddy uh, footpaths um, even though they slow you down they're just really, they're just so much fun to run on. Um, I'm absolutely in the middle of nowhere, as you can see. Um, I'm on the canal still. There's a really lovely old Norman church just in this field on its own. It's just really pretty. The sun is glorious today. So I brought my drone with me, not on the run, it's in the car. And when I finished, I was gonna drive and find somewhere that I could just pull up and then walk a little bit up the footpath and then just throw the drone up over you know just open space but it's just too windy i wanted to get some footage on and on. I'm moving on and on. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I'm at eight miles. My pace has picked up a bit. Take your litter home, people. That's it. Oh, hang on. That worked. That's the end of my run along the canal, I'm at 10 miles. I'm gonna to stop to enjoy some of the sun and the canal and the cool breeze. That was really good, I really enjoyed that. So that's it with my, with my running hair. I'm back in the car now. I just wanted to say a really quick thanks for watching this video. Um, yeah, it means a lot. As I say, there was no point to this video other than just a quick update of where I am. I haven't run this before. I've walked it several times, but yeah, it was fun to run it. It was a good route. Lovely canal. Very nice day today. The sun's gone behind the clouds now, starting to get a bit cooler. We're smack bang in the middle of Feb, so the days are still quite short at the moment. But yeah, really enjoyed, really enjoyed that run. Looking forward to the next one. Thanks for watching. Oh, I've changed the track. I still haven't worked that out. I can't wait.
Tempo! 